This time last year, my amazing journey on Strictly Come Dancing came to a close, but I'm so excited to relive a bit of the magic and get these dancing feet moving again right here at the Apollo Victoria Theatre, where I am meeting Ryan Reed, currently the man in a West End production of Wicked and London's first Black Fiero. He'll be giving me an inside look on what it's like to play the iconic role, and if I'm lucky, he might even teach me some of these awesome dance moves. So uh, let's see if what Nancy taught me is still in there. Ryan, you've been playing Fiero for nearly a year now. How would you sum up the experience? It's been amazing, honestly. It's been so, so good. It's been more than I thought it would ever be as well. And to be in this beautiful theatre, it's mm. been amazing. So how do you describe the feeling you get when you first, I say walk, but you can't get rolled onto stage as Fiero, which just looks pretty sweet. But how is it first going onto stage? Do you know what, to be honest with you, that's not the first time. Mm. I actually, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually in the angry mob at the beginning. That's not true. Yeah, no, it's true. What so the next mean? time you come to watch, like, it's like, a, where's Wally? Where's Fiero? Can that's... I try and spot me? I would buy that book. So it's really nice. You get to come out have a vibe with everyone on stage, so then you can relax into it when I'm being wheeled on. It's yeah. like, okay, here I am. He comes in and he is this, you know, fun-loving, he's, he's rebellious. Now, Fiero is such an iconic role in musical theatre, so was there anything specific that you wanted to bring yourself to the role? I really wanted to bring myself to the role mm. in any way that I could. Yeah. And that's the important thing is representation matters, visibility matters, mm. and that's what is so great about this show. It's such a diverse world. Mm. Um, in Oz, and that's why I think it's super important, and our ensemble are as mm. well, um, which I'm super proud to be part of the show with such a yeah. diverse ensemble. Yeah, and it's also nice for then future generations to have that as a reference. Absolutely. So when I came into it, I was like, well, who do I reference? What references do I have? Yeah. And I didn't really have that many. Yeah. So, you know, it, that's what was so nice. I think it's so nice to be able to give um, to future generations. So a little flying monkey told me that there are some new witches flying into the Emerald City. First time, three main roles, people of colour. It's quite a nice thing to happen and quite an iconic thing to be a part of. Oh, 100%. It's really, really um, amazing to be a part of. I'm so excited to welcome Alexia and Lucy into the cast next year and for audience members to see that yeah. and to kind of go, anyone can play these parts. Yeah. And that's what's really, really important. Yeah, I'm so excited to be a part of that trio. For Alexia to come back, it's so exciting for me to be able to do it with her. Because um, I saw her do it, so now to be opposite her is going to be absolutely incredible mm. um, and so exciting. So who was the first Fiera that you saw? I saw the original West End cast. So to imagine myself 16 years ago down there, you know, watching them and then I never yeah. ever thought I would be up here doing it. And what advice would you give to young people trying to break into the industry? Work hard. Yeah. I think that is the most important thing. Like, tenacity is key. Yeah. And the best phrase I ever heard was, it's not rejection, it's redirection. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah I know you like that one. Yeah. So there's, you have your own journey. Never compare your journey to somebody else's. Mm. You are unique. Funny about the message of this story. Mm. Now, listen, Fiero has some mean threads in this show. So I've got to ask, what? is your favourite costume. Do you know, actually, I've got them over there. What? what? Come and have a look. No <laughs> way. Oh! So this is what I wear to the Ozdust Ballroom. Okay. It's all made specially for me. Yeah. Um, so the cut of it, you feel amazing because you get brought on yeah. and then everyone's looking at you at the top of the staircase and you're wearing this and you've yep. got the trousers on. Yep. You just feel like, you know, amazing. You actually can't help but be like, yeah, you should look at me. These costumes make your job so much easier. I've always found when like performing or dancing or doing a show, the costume is like 40, 50% yeah. of it. it. It just adds something different to you 100%. than doing it in your sweatpants or something. Well, it's the way that it holds you as well. So it's like compared to this one, when you feel like you are held yeah. like you are the captain of the guards yeah, yeah. because of the way it's structured, all of this on you, the way the belt sits. So you feel like, actually, I don't have to do as much work True. because I'm already taken there with the costume. Yeah. So, since you've been on Strictly and yeah. you've seen the show, uh -huh. should we learn a little bit of the routine for Dancing for Life? Can monkeys fly? Yes, yes! <laughs> okay, Teach okay. me everything! This is when I'm in the courtyard. Okay. And I've just said, where's the best place in town? They said the Ostos Ballroom. So this is where we're going to gather everyone. Okay. Take a head down to the Ostos Ballroom. Okay. Let's go down to the Oz Ballroom. Ballroom. And then we drop it all. We'll meet. Drop it down there. Okay. Later to two. Night. night. And then we go step over and out. And out. That's it. Okay. See, I knew you were a quick learner. <laughs> I have to say, 
I'm learning differences between yours and Nancy's teaching techniques. Oh, okay. For instance, you scream less. If you want me to nice. scream more, I no, think. No, 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 that's, that's totally fine. <laughs> okay, cool. I love both techniques. It's really percussive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anything like this is really on the beat. I feel this reminds me of doing Charleston or Paso Week, where oh, that's yeah. very character driven as well. Acting really comes into the dancing yeah. here. I love learning new stuff. Well, what's amazing, when you, when you start getting to it and you understand the beat, it feels slower in your head afterwards. 100%. Even though you're going as fast, because you know what's coming now, it's quite nice that you're slowing down time. Yes. And eight, one, Let's two, down, three, two, and four. Ballroom, we'll meet there later tonight. That's it. <laughs> yes. yes. Ryan, it's been so great coming and meeting you. and. Getting behind the scenes is an amazing show. Thank you for showing me around and giving me an insight on what it's like to play Fiero. Thank you so much for coming. And listen, you know where I am. Bro. If you need me. Look, I'll be on the first hot air balloon over here. Don't you worry. <laughs> I'll see you very soon. Listen, it was Absolute great pleasure. pleasure. Thank pleasure, you. Man. See you soon. See you soon.